Let's mm, drunk. I've been spending way too much time on Super Nintendo games that completely suck, so let's dive back into the world of imports. Back in ye olden days of the channel, I looked at a Game Boy game called Hammer and Harry Ghost Breeding Company, a fun playthrough that stayed in Japan. It turns out that game is part of a larger series that started out with an arcade game simply titled Hammer and Harry back in 1990. Afterward, Irem expanded the series with a couple games for Famicom, one of which was released in Europe where they made Harry look like Arch Hall Jr., and there were a few other titles for Game Boy as well. But most of these games were kind of their own thing. None of them really came all that close to capturing what the original Hammer and Harry arcade game was like. Until Irem released Ganbari Daiko no Gensan for the Super Famicom in December 1993. This is another game that stayed in Japan, but it's English friendly, so you don't need a translation patch to play it. Hammer and Harry on Super Nintendo may look and sound like the arcade original, but it's still its own thing. You play as Harry in a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up where you use your giant mallet to whack enemies and send them flying off the screen. You start out with Harry and his friends admiring the new house he just bought before it gets torn down for some reason by the rusty nail construction company. So Harry's out for revenge, and you get a health meter with three lives and unlimited continues to get through four levels split up into two stages each with no battery save or passwords. You use your huge hammer to smash anything and everything, but you still have to be somewhat careful because some of the power-ups you can pick up from smashing stuff can cause a little damage. But there's still good stuff to pick up too. You can upgrade your hammer, and you have a special attack that you level up by collecting biceps. And you press the X button to use it, causing your hammer to shoot sparks. You start out at a construction site before you wander into a neighborhood. There's cats running around on the roof. There's a small army of old ladies that want to kill you. Before you get to the boss, which is just uh, this regular old cute looking cat. Come on, do I really have to smash a cat with a hammer? Oh, never mind. It turns out it's just Japanese Charlie Sheen in a cat costume. After that, you're riding a scooter, smashing people with your hammer. Then you get to a boss fight with this dude just tossing bottles at you before you smash him with your hammer. Climbing fences with angry monkeys? Smash him with your hammer. Fight Tarzan in the jungle? Smash him with your hammer. Bearded skater guy? Mecha businessman who teleports around? Psychotic woman with a chainsaw? They all get the hammer. In case you can't tell by now, there's really not much to this game, and to be totally honest, after grinding away at Pocky and Rocky Reshrined last week, I was looking for more of that same kind of vibe, just a little less difficult, and Ganbari Daiku no Gensan definitely fits that bill. Your health meter is very forgiving, so it's easy to breeze straight through this game in something like 45 minutes, and you know, sometimes that's a good thing. I don't need to be constantly challenged and sweating through my eyeballs with stress when it comes to gaming. Sometimes I just want to go around and smash things with an oversized hammer. I guess I can kind of relate to Gallagher in that way. So yeah, this is one of those public service announcement type videos where I say, this game exists, and Ganbare Daiku no Gensen certainly exists, and I'm glad it does. It's an easy, straightforward game, but it's a nice and welcome break from what I've been playing the past few months. The graphics look great, the music sounds good, and the gameplay is simple, and sometimes it's all you need. Not every game needs to win all the awards and change the industry or whatever. Harry ranks highly among his peers when it comes to hammers, better than MC Hammer and Van Hammer, but maybe not quite as good as Jean Hammer or Greg the Hammer Valentine. But yeah, this is a fun game just because it's so simple and you get to laugh at some of the enemies and their strange behavior. I'll also add that if you like what you see here, you would do well to check out the Hammer and Harry Game Boy games since they have a lot more going on. But as far as Ganbari Daiku no Gensan goes, this title never got a release outside of Japan, so this is another game you'll have to play any way you can. Alrighty, that's all for now, and I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.